Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to another episode. Ah, it's getting late. Uh, another episode of version 1.17 um, Adventures. So, yeah, we're back and here. Excuse you, Mr. Moo. Jeez. All right. Oh, mercy. I had a burp. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So, um,. Yeah, I've been uh, doing the whole trading thing, and it's really irritating. I, I am not even going to try to lie. Um, some of these guys refuse to go down any further than, uh, like, this guy went from 32 to 19, and he stuck there. I, I sent him back through a couple times, and he just did not want to come down anymore. Uh, same with down here. Instead of, I mean, it's still, it's, it's a decent price. It's better than what it was, of course, but... You know, I, I want the ones, man. I want them ones. You know, and nether wart. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to trade him nether wart for emerald, but, you know, you, you get the point. Um, and this one's the worst. He went down from 26 to 15 on the first shot. And I can't get him any lower. I've sent him through five times total. And he just right there. Nope, I am not giving you any more discounts. You can kiss my ass. Well, guess what? The joke's on you because I'm making another farmer. Ha! Uh, anyway, um, this guy I haven't sent through yet. Uh, but yeah, I've been working on this and I got all these guys here. I figured over here I would do like uh, uh, food, uh, benefic beneficial things like that. So my butcher will be over here, uh, my farmer, of course, and uh, my cleric. He's just here. He, he's beneficial, um, you know, but he's beneficial in other stuff. So I, I like to get the glowstone, as you can tell. I got glowstone kind of, I'm like slapping it down here and there. Uh, you know, but he has some decent stuff. And, and I, you know, of course this, I would love to get that down to a one because this would be a perfect thing to get emeralds on. Uh, but anyway, I got him over here. And then my uh, trade guys over here, my toolsmith, weaponsmith, leather worker, and mason. I'm uh, not going to even beat around the bush. These guys are not all that great. But it's down to a one. And if I need something in a pinch, I can go ahead and grab something out of here, you know, and uh, use it up, you know. And that way, I mean, I got mending on all my stuff. But, you know, th there's times where, you know, I, I can come over here and for one emerald, you know, grab a whole bunch of these and just go digging like crazy, you know what I mean? And not worry about it. If it breaks, oh well, it only costs an emerald. Um, but yeah, these, yeah, I would never use buy this one because I already have my best one here. I, I don't need it. And I still need to put more on these, uh, uh, my, my, uh, my normal ones that I have. Uh, but, you know, it like I said, in a pinch, if I want to go out and uh, kill a forest, you know, I can come back here and uh, for one emerald, buy a whole crap ton of uh, axes and go to town, you know. Uh, leather is, well, it's crappy. It's leather. You know, what do you want? <laughs> uh, the good thing about this is I get a saddle. So uh, I can get a, grab a couple saddles. I want to go out and grab a couple horses. Uh, this guy here, uh, he has the quartz, of course. Uh, quartz, of course, of course, of course. All right, so he did go down. I could not get him past two. He's like, two is a good price, you know, a good thing for, you know, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, fine, yeah, keep your two. Uh, but I wouldn't trade him stone anyway. I would trade other stuff. Diorite, absolutely. Um, that's a, a good thing to get rid of. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So these are my trade guys here, and up top are my librarians. Uh, so I definitely have to get some better ones up here. Um... I started putting everything that they have, but then it's just a pain in the butt. Uh, yeah, they knock back one and two. That's not all that great, but I have my fortune three, uh, knock back one and two, and then knock back one again. That that really really irritated me. You're gonna you already got it, and you're gonna give it to me again. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, so, um, Fire Aspect 1, Luck of the C3, and that's that's a good one there. I, I really like that. Uh, and then Projectile Protection 4, which is really good. I, I need to put that on, um, actually, I need to get a uh, another chest plate. I've got to upgrade, but I'll put this 
on uh, projectile protection on my diamond chest plate that I have sitting over there. Um, yeah, and you can see I finally got the 30 level, so <laughs> that'll be coming soon. Uh, infinity and uh, protection, uh, projectile protection too. Uh, not as good as him, but I haven't leveled him up all the way, so there's a couple more spaces here that uh, he can give. So, oh yeah. Oh, uh, anyway, let me go down here. This guy here, I've been sending over. Yeah, he he went down. He's going down like uh, four at a time. <laughs> Uh, let's do it again. Go on. Get over there. Get over there and turn. Ugh. Okay, get some space in my inventory here. There we go. Alright, and this is a good setup. This works perfectly. You know, this guy here, he's just chilling out until I send one over. And um, he does his thing, and I send him back, you know, and he goes right back over here. And I grab these. Um, yeah, I, I've done these so many times that I've cheated these in. Uh, no sense in even beating around the bush on that one. Uh, so I had to get those in there to get the get all these done. So, um, yeah, and going around looking for everything that you need is damn near impossible when you're doing a whole town like this. Uh, a whole trader thing. Um, so yeah, yeah, don't beat me up too much, but yes, I cheated those in. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I got this going on. Um, working on that slow but steady, uh, getting the things done or getting the ones that I need. Um, and then over here with my uh, barn, you can see that I've made a little bit of progress. I ran out of clay again, so uh, I didn't have enough to finish as much as I wanted to, so I got to go out on another excursion and get some clay. Uh, but I started putting in the, oh, my llamas disappeared. I logged in uh, today and uh, they're just straight up gone. <laughs> so I don't know what happened to them. Um, I have no clue. They're just gone. Um, yeah, so I started putting the flooring in and I think that the birch is a good choice. Uh, where is it? This one here, I think what I will do is uh, you know how in barns they have um, uh, like struts or something you know something that will hold up the top uh, so I know it's not going to stay like this but I was thinking maybe a uh, oak log will look good as a support beam and it'll come right down onto uh, this section here so it'll take the place of this uh, this fence here and it'll come down here and go up and same thing with here here that corner there um, and I might do it like right here and here that is still awful dark back there isn't it um, and then uh, you know over here uh, the, then it'll be this one here and then this one here um, and that'll be like the, the the structure, you know, holding up the whole section, second floor there. Uh, so I think that will look pretty good. I still need to put a um, wall in over there and see if it attaches and how well that looks. I may have to do a uh, like a birch um, wood or birch, uh, yeah, birch wood going across. Uh, that section, that whole top there, which I mean, it wouldn't uh, take away from anything. It actually looked pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, actually, I can go over this away here and grab one of these fences. Uh, where do you go? There you go. Oh, get back here. Oh, jeez. Make me go chasing after you. Alright, so, um, yeah, I got these hanging up. I thought these looked pretty good, but they don't attach. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to have to do something else uh, here. Um, I'll probably put something on top of here coming out because I want this to be the doorway, and I'm still trying to figure out a good way to make a good uh, size door. Uh, to go in here, 
Yeah, I would love to have one. I, I know it's impossible with this, especially with not modded, uh, but I would love to have a door that swings open uh, that comes across. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, well, I mean, I guess, yeah, one, two, yeah, three each. So you would have a door coming out here and a door coming out here. And then when you walk up to it, it just swings back and rests against this back side over here. I think that would be awesome, but I haven't seen anything, any possibility of doing that uh, since pneumatic, uh, the uh, pneumatic mod and modded Minecraft. And of course, this is not modded Minecraft, this is uh, regular, and I'm not putting any mods on here. If I do, it'll be simple uh like a map mod or something like that it'd be very simple mods um that i can put on here and not have to worry about uh too much okay let's see what this looks like there we go okay it is connecting to here so what does that look like from below um hmm not bad uh, per se, per se. Yes, I said per se. Uh, you know. Okay. Up, oh, up. Oh. Thank you. Good grief. Okay, let's get let's get a few more. This will give us a good look at what's happening and what can and cannot be done over in uh, this area. I really need to get my uh, shovel made up i got one over there i just don't have the mending and and all the different stuff on there i was waiting for everything to go through uh and give me my discounts you know because you know that's that's better when you get discounts all right so we got four there okay so we're going to see actually we won't see any air through there um let me see here okay okay I mean it definitely gives it a different look because it's attaching to the wood there um, so the question is let's get back up here and lay some of these down uh, next to it and bah, we can compare one two three four okay we got four no oh, we got five there five okay so uh, five to five, and we'll see which one appears to be better. Uh, okay, well, the uh, wood, you can't even see until you get up here, up close and personal. I got a little bit of lag spike there. Um, let's see here, that's not too bad. And, ooh, 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 okay, that creates a jut out on every single one of these coming out where this one does not. Now the question is, that don't look too bad actually. <laughs> um, well, I kind of like that. Uh, what do you think? What do you, what do you guys think of, you know, about these uh, little jut outs here? These little tiny jut outs uh, created by that. I think that's kind of cool. It looks kind of good. Yeah, I mean, if every one of those goes like that all the way around, see, now this one creates it here because of this, but if I put that up there, it would create it all the way down like those over there. Ooh, that might work. That That is, oh, we, we're on to something here now. Yeah, yeah, we're on to something. Okay, um, so yeah, I'll leave that up for now so I can revisit it it does the same thing out here now one every so often looks stupid why is that one doing it over there is it because I took the one away yeah oh yeah it's one okay um, alright so yeah one every so often looks stupid but if you have uniformity across the whole thing, it gives it depth and character. I'm going with that. It, it's a good, a good saying. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I, yep. Uh huh. I planned it the whole time. Okay. Um, so yeah, give me your thoughts on that. Let me know what you think. 
Um, it looks really good, I think. Even from here, you know, and you kind of looking at it, it gives it that little bit of extra, you know? That looks flat and boring. That looks, uh, looks nice. Bumped out nice. Looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. Mm -hmm. good, good, good. All right, let's go over here and check on our villager real quick and uh, see what's happening. I did expand uh, that, so my dripstone farm is a little bit more expanded. Um, I might go further with that. I might take that and make a very, very huge one. Um, and I'm even playing with the idea of making a flying machine to gather everything over there. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, interesting um, within itself because I've never made a flying machine before. Ever, ever, ever. So yeah, that's going to be uh, something to see, let me tell you. Seriously. Alright, what do you got now? It was at 14 before. 7. <laughs> uh, you're going back. I, I, that's what I'll do to all of them. I'll just keep sending them. And... Um, they're going to give me the damn discount. I'll tell you that right now. There we go. Alright. But I tell you what. This is working out perfectly. It's on hard. And I don't mind playing on hard. And typically I do. Uh, I, I enjoy uh, playing on hard. Uh, the big deal is how many mobs you get. You know, they come out. Uh, it seems from, like, nowhere. And, uh sometimes it'll be like nothing and then all of a sudden it'll be like you're surrounded by uh, 50 uh, mobs uh, all of a sudden just come at you uh, I also put a roof on here and it flips me out every time I come up here because it looks like it's nighttime you know with the door closed you know you come up the stairs and all you see is dark and I'm like oh no I missed it again uh, but yeah it's just that I, I figured this looks the most like uh, house tiles um, I think this here needs to be changed up. I don't like how this came out uh, on the front. Um, so I'll change that up a little bit later on. Uh, once I get time to kind of look at everything and uh, check it out. But I was playing with the idea of changing this whole roof, uh, this whole section coming around this way to uh, the this. Uh, it's a deep slate stair, uh, uh, brick stair. Um, coming all the way around this section too but I'm just not sure how that would look uh, I guess it would look a little better than what's there I mean that kind of blends in you know the where the rest of it okay it kind of takes your attention uh, from you know it, it draws your attention to it uh, in a way in a way okay so uh, what else do we got um, I uh, still don't know about the farm. I haven't really dealt with it. I just, you know, it's there. Uh, that will be a project for another time. Um, once I get all this done, uh, then I'll worry about that, I think. Um, but yes, I also saw a um, awesome, awesome idea. And I don't think I have everything that I need to build it. Uh, so that's, yeah, I only have... Yeah, I, I'm going to have to take time and build everything and um, that I need. But I saw a uh, uh, cobblestone and stone generator uh, that B -dub, B -double O uh, had made in uh, Hermitcraft, and it was uh, it was awesome, awesome and, and inspiring. Uh, I want to build that. I want to go ahead and build that somewhere in here. Uh, maybe over in this general area over here. Um, uh, so yeah, I will build up everything that I need or create everything I need and I will build that on camera so you can see it. Um, so yeah, what he he did is he, he made a cobblestone generator and you can flip a button and it turns it uh, from a cobblestone generator to a stone generator all in the same machine. It, it's really a neat thing that he did and uh, I want to copy that um, so yeah I, I give credit where credit is due anytime I copy something I, I try to give credit to the person uh, that I copied and I and I gotta say um, I can't come up with these ideas on my own I, I really can't I don't have the patience to sit there and 
uh, test everything um, and then tear it down and, and rebuild it and retest it and, re and rebuild it and retest it until it works. Uh, I just, it, you know, the patience is not there. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, this here, I started my warehouse. This is going to be a warehouse over here. So, um, and funny enough, I only had to take out one building for uh, these spots here. <laughs> so, yeah, I haven't really uh, gone over into that area yet. But, uh, it, and yes, yes, it is a very uh, small type of uh, warehouse. But I like the design that's coming out. I wanted to, to uh, give it a little bit more uh, than normal. So, I have incorporated several different blocks into this uh, into this build and I, I think it's coming out really good I got the quartz down here I got uh, polished diorite going around um, I know a scout don't look um, and uh, you know then I got the tough going across and through here I need to go get some more I need to go down and dig a little bit and get some more down there hey a good thing for my uh, pickaxes over there yeah okay uh, so yeah the tough will come in here and then of course I need to uh, finish this off here and then finish those off and then um, get the walls built up with lighting and light other lighting than this and then we'll be ready to rock and roll with that uh, oh my I'm starting to death here um, yeah, we'll be uh, all set and ready to uh, move, start moving everything over into the warehouse and getting that set up. Um, and then I want to push myself a little bit harder and make a sorting system for my warehouse. Now, yeah, you heard me correctly. I am going to try to do a sorting system. Uh, so I will be taking ideas from other players uh, watching their YouTube channels and stuff. Um, and uh, seeing how they do it um, and then I will give credit uh, to them uh, once I get it done so uh, yeah uh, I got a lot of projects going on here a lot going on all at one time um, but yeah it's uh, it, it, it's going to be exciting um, I, I do know I will have to expand this out uh, this this was just a a plan um, and the plan worked out I liked how it came out in here uh, so basically when I expand uh, this row here will then become this row here so I'll take this idea and move it here and then this will be pushed out uh, uh, so essentially one two three four five six seven more spaces that way and uh, it'll look like this over on that side and I can keep doing that all the way out to infinity if I wanted to um, all the way uh, until it and you know I mean w there's no point in going past the mountains because it, it, uh, it wouldn't load in you know but yeah there's that so uh, yeah so this will be like uh, my sorting system will come up through uh, on the wall here uh, going through and um, but yeah, I got a lot of testing to do and a lot of watching to do to find out exactly how to get that done so it'll work. Uh, I have been testing different things out in my Craftadia series, but yay, he's finally down to one. Finally, okay. Uh, but mm, excuse me, good grief. Um, the problem is Craftadia. Uh, has uh, changed a few things, turned a few things off, so uh, how you do things in there is different than how you do things um, in other worlds like this. Uh, so yeah, you gotta, you gotta find uh, other ways to do things in that. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't work the same. Uh, but, let me see, where am I gonna put you, aha, up here. And I think I have this all set up and ready to go yes indeedy all right let's get back down here and then we can send him straight up boink go baby go all right now where my dirt go i'll go ahead and fill this back in for the time being and uh he is set up in here and ready to rock and or roll that's good that's a good thing 
let's get these out of here. And, um, you know what? I'm leaving that in there. I don't think it matters if the rail is still in there. Um, so the big thing is he can, like, slide off of that, but I have him locked in. You know what I mean? So he is, he is all set and ready to rock. Um, now this one here, that'd be my next dude coming in that section. And I still have stuff in here. Good deal. Fletcher. Alright, so he doesn't have anything really good yet, but I will have a bunch of sticks, so we will be getting more emeralds and stuff, and then we'll build him up to see uh, what else he will offer. So I'm hoping he offers some really good bows or something. Oh, you know what else I need? A fisherman. Fisher. They have fisher fishermen in here, right? Um... I believe so. I believe they do. I just got to figure out what to throw down there to get him because I would love to get some good stuff like that. So, yeah, it would be interesting. I don't know if they actually have someone for fishing, you know? And what would I put there? I'll do some research. I'll do some research on that and see what I can get. So, yeah, uh, I guess the next guy... Let me get my cleric out of there. And I got some stuff. I'm going to send him back through. He he is he just irritating the crap out of me with that. And um, I want him going back. No. Alright. You go here. Would you stop that? Alright, fine. I'll take that. There. Okay, so then I can lay this back down, I think. There we go. And he'll go right down in. I gotta remember to remove these before I send them because, uh, yeah, that's not a good thing when, when you don't remove them. And the guy's going, burp, burp, burp. <laughs> he's like dying. Okay, we'll move that. And we'll move this. And we'll lay some track down. Now, yeah, that's why well, another reason I left that track underneath him. Because once they are off the track, you can't place another one underneath. So, the only thing you can do is get behind him and give him a push and get him on the track um, to go. Now, he'll go right on down through there. I'll replace that and I'll put a track here. Yeah, uh, so yeah, that I'll just lose a track for everyone, but then they'll be on the track. Uh, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Alright, Mr. Dude. Uh, so, you are heading this way. Oi! Go over there and get changed. Okay, I know. Yep, I am well over time on this one. But you get a little bit extra, I think. Uh, now, next next time, um, I will be doing a lot of this stuff on camera. So, a lot of the builds, the different builds that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing on camera. Uh, so, yeah, next, look forward to next week being a uh, build week, I think. Um, I will hold off on building other things. So, I want to... Um, like I said, the cobblestone and stone generator, I wanted to build that on camera. Um, and hopefully it'll come out correctly. Uh, I think it looked fairly easy, uh, to set up. So I want to do that so you guys can get a chance to see that. Uh, I want to build more of that. So I'll do that on camera and, uh, the warehouse, I'll work on that. I think on camera. These guys I will do off camera and uh, as I run around doing other stuff, when I'm on camera doing stuff, I'll work on them as I go, but I won't concentrate on them when I'm recording. Um, because uh, just like this, I mean, it just, it's boring. 
just sit there and wait. And yeah, you got to wait for them to turn, and you got to send them back and wait for them to turn. And wait, and yeah, bleh. Uh, so anyway, guys, um, that will wrap up this episode, and we're gonna we're gonna work on that. I want you to give me a give me your honest opinion on that wall over there. Does it w look better jutted out like that on every single one? Because I I don't I think I like it. I I think I do. So yeah, give me your honest opinion on that, and we will work on that next time. Um, and we'll also work on the generator. So yeah, until next time, guys, pound that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe. And always remember to enjoy everything that you do. If you don't, there's no point in doing it. I'll see you on the flip side.